What's the crack lads? Welcome to the channel. If you are new here, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Daily eFootball content is what we bring on the channel. And of course, we do our streams Monday, Thursday and Friday. Every week. On the hour, every hour. That's what we're like. We're like the news. So if you are a regular, obviously thanks for the support as well as it's been huge lately. And keep beasting. So today we're going to be talking about free to play. Where it fits into the current eFootball landscape, right? Now I'm going to talk about where it fits in, how it's changed, what it potentially could mean into the future... Yeah, I mean, a lot has changed. Is it still viable to play free-to-play? Well, there's a couple of reasons why it's becoming a lot harder. Now, this is our first free-to-play squad, right? We haven't spent a cent. So I split my content between, obviously, playing with the big boys and opening packs. And I also split my content then with the free-to-play. So we do free-to-play Fridays. We do subscriber showdowns where I, you know, take on your squads or play co-op. And we usually use our free-to-play or else the player of the week cards on a Thursday and then on the Friday, and then on the Monday, we've got the superstar squads, right? So this squad that I have here is actually my third squad. So I have my main squad, I have my main Road to Glory or free-to-play squad, and then I have this squad that you're seeing right here on screen. Now, just a couple of thoughts on this one, right? And just a couple of things that I want to talk about. The first thing that I want to talk about here is the, the basis of my squad, right? So you can see here that there is a, a little bit of, so to speak, cheating in terms of this because these cards are not free we're talking David Rea we're talking about this Leo Messi as well they are player of the weeks so I obviously got those on a free spin either with free coins or we just got them on a lucky spin our first coin from the event or our first spin from the event and that's kind of where we got them there right so these cards are very 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 dominant man like a lot of these cards that they've released in the past these free to play kind of player of the weeks and obviously you get a random spin but more so, we're going to talk about the kind of old school free cards that they released, including starting with Neymar, right? So I I personally think, lads, that this Neymar here, I would go as far as to say that it's probably the best center forward for a free-to-play card. We'll get into Mbappe in a second, who was an older card that they released as well. But this card has it all, man. If you like to run and gun, if you like to have a silky center forward that can score, that can finish really, really, really consistently and effectively... Excellent speed, excellent acceleration, excellent balance, tight possession, 90, finishing 90, ball control, dribbling, out the wazoo, unbelievable card. And of course, you can train this card as well. We've given him a right wing forward position, uh, proficiency added to that. We also give him low lofted pass and of course, acrobatic finishing just for those volleys, bicycle kicks, sometimes headers as well and knock-ons and, and, and flick-ins, right? And we can see here that we've got 254 games played with this Neymar and 211 goals scored, right? So, people that have played the game and have played the game recently will probably not have got this Neymar. They will have got this player from the penalty. So this Neymar that you see here was originally from the penalty, the free penalty. So you went around once they introduced the penalty system and the free daily login game. Um, they actually brought that in and it was a case of you basically would you know go around the board once or twice um, and you would get free players. And obviously, once you went around once, you would have got Neymar, right? Now, you might ask, uh, like, say to yourself, well, I joined the game late. So, I mean, obviously, I didn't get that Neymar. If, the, if you don't have that Neymar in your squad, um, you actually only ended up with this Frank Ribery. So this was the other Ribery that they released uh, with the most recent reset from eFootball24 to eFootball2025. This was the free card. So if you were to compare this Ribery here, now obviously this is an unleveled Frank Ribery, but you're comparing a 19-year-old Neymar who's a deep line forward, basically in his prime here in terms of his speed and his explosiveness, compared with a 38-year-old Frank Ribery who, listen, this Frank Ribery was a disappointing card when you compare him to against Neymar. And that kind of sums up, even though it's the start point for our video, we're looking at Neymar versus Frank Ribery, it kind of sums up. Yeah, Ribery is still a good player. I'm not. I'm not denying that he's a good player, but I think this kind of sums up where the game has gone, and that they're trying to wrestle back a little bit of the, you know, unbelievable cards versus you know these cards. Like this Neymar was genuinely end game when he came out, and then also on top of that, when you compare him with Ribery, it looks to be even more of a discrepancy. That if you were to sign up and play this game or download this game for free and get Neymar like two years ago, right? Or you were to download the game and get Frank Ribery and you weren't able to, or you didn't have the game downloaded, or you weren't playing the game when Neymar was there and you got Ribery instead. Like, you don't have a comparable player. 
Do you know what I mean? Like, I think it would have been nice if you had still got that Neymar, or if Neymar was just there and it was never reset, that no matter when you downloaded the game, you would have got Neymar. This is also true for the likes of Diego Maradona. He was another card that you would, would be able to get as well. Now, obviously, they've brought in different kind of rewards for the spins now. So you've got Beckham, you've got Tony Adams, and they're, they can do a job for you. There's no doubt about it. They can do a job for you. But I do feel like even when you kind of extend this out and you broaden this conversation out, I do feel that free-to-play players right now or that have downloaded a game in eFootball 2025... I think they are getting shafted a little bit, right? And we'll talk about the big power players in a minute or the pay-to-win players such as Vieira Turam. Obviously, these guys have no equal in the GP marketplace. But if you look here and just give a quick glance over my squad, Neymar, 100% free. Diego Maradona, 100% free. And no lottery, no randomness in it. Guaranteed to get Maradona and Neymar by taking the penalties in the daily game. Also, while you might have had Messi as a kind of a random one and you got lucky with the spin or not, right? And we also had that with the likes of Bellingham where we got lucky and we got the Showtime Bellingham who was in a box of 150 in one individual spin and are free to play. You were guaranteed the likes of Jack Wiltshire. You were also guaranteed this Rodri. This Rodri was insane. This club icon Rodri was part of the nominating contracts. Now we have nominating contracts while some of the cards can be fun, such as your man Torre, the big beast, the collar killer. But they don't compare in terms of the end game cards that they were releasing before. That's also true for this Kimmick here. I mean, I know a couple of people that absolutely love this Kimmick. He's a fantastic card. But more noticeable than that is Beckenbauer and Costa Corta. I would argue that even though his stats don't tell the full picture, I would argue that Costa Corta... I, think he's, I probably think he's top 10 defenders in the game, lads. And this was a free card, 100% free um card to get all you had to do was keep taking your penalties and log in r regularly and you would get him i mean 99 defensive engagement 85 speed 85 kicking power 90 plus physical contact 90 plus heading every stat in for his defense apart from aggression you don't need aggression on the defensive fullback as much as a destroyer because you're controlling the player a lot more and beckenbauer as well this was the beckenbauer pack that they released as part of a, a, a kind of a campaign where you got loads of spins to get Beckenbauer, and eventually pretty much everyone got him. I know people that got two, three, four versions of Beckenbauer and trained him in different ways or else released him. So while you might have had a look, a lucky break getting David Rea or the likes of Messi in your free spins, if you look at this squad here, and it's my third choice squad, even if you look at my substitutions here, you've Ben White, you've got this Delict who was absolutely insane that was 100% free as part of a Halloween campaign. This year for Halloween, we didn't really get anybody, man. We got, you know, a couple of free players, obviously, like Jorginho and them, them guys. But I don't think that they were really guys that were, you know, like, I don't really feel like that the cards that they're releasing now are kind of up to that standard. You know what I mean? And even at that, they're not really interesting cards either. Like, yes, you can use them, but you're talking about having the likes of Gabriel Jesus here, who was a Halloween card. He's got 16 levels, man. And he just doesn't compare to the other cards in his... Uh, in his kind of like repertoire or comparable with cards like that so i do feel as well that the cards that they're releasing now they just are a little bit kind of weaker overall compared to the big boys like as i said this is my main squad here that i'm going to show you so as you can see here obviously there is no comparison between this squad that i have as my main squad and you know the other squads that i have as my free to play like there is no comparison i mean you're talking about having the best of the best 105 right card 104 Vieira, Hoyne is probably my favourite card to use right now, 105 Cannavaro double booster, Xabi Alonso, Messi 106, Griezmann 104, and my bench is absolutely stacked. And it's just a case of now that more and more players are being released to be 103, 104, 105. And I feel like that the free, to, free cards, they just don't compare. Yes, while, while you could like compare... The likes of Costa Corta, say for example, who was a free card, right? And Costa Corta is definitely one of my favorite cards. From a statistical point of view, you are kind of like left behind a little bit with these cards. And like, I have a lot of free cards here. I have a lot of really good cards here. No doubt about it. Like there's some insane cards that I have here that I would definitely think are endgame. If you're talking about having cards as endgame, there is some brilliant cards here as you're seeing here, such as this Rudiger, who was a free spin on the player of the week. You also have, as I said, Costa Corta and those boys that were there. This was an Antonio Rudiger there. But they just don't compare from a statistical point of view, lads. I mean, these cards are now being left behind 
Can you still do a job with these cards? 100%. Can you still get to Division 1 with a free-to-play account? That is no money spent. 100%. I've done it before on my streams where Collar has been my main man. But I just feel at the moment that unless you're playing with the big boys, when you're coming up after, you know, six, seven games in a row, regardless of the skill level of the opponent, when you're coming up against six, seven players in a row and opponents in a row in Division 2 or 1, the same starting 11 with the same players all the whole time, it just eventually breaks you down, you know what I mean? Because obviously, yes, Costa Corte could compare to Rijkaard in terms of how he plays on the pitch, but Costa Corte is more an exception to the rule than the rule, you know what I mean? Like, you're also talking about the likes of Neymar there, Carlos, the new Carlos. The cards that they're releasing now, you are kind of fighting an uphill battle to compare with just the AI of some of these cards, you know, especially Rijkaard, Cannavaro, and those guys, right? And even my main free-to-play squad here, this is the squad I'm using pretty much at the moment, right? It's my main free-to-play. I haven't really... I haven't really bought manager, obviously. I've just used all my coins, the free coins, to get the likes of Torres. So we spent, we saved up and we got the free Torres here. We got Diaz and a couple of free spins as well that we'd coin saved up. Obviously, we've got Neymar again. And I've been testing out a lot of these players that we've just got on pretty much from just logging in, getting the free spins, doing the events, and getting the free coins or else getting a bit of luck. But you have a lot of players here, like, where we still have a, a squad with like 100 rated Torres, Diaz, 101 Messi, 100 Neymar, 99 Beckham, 99 Martinelli, 97 Van Dijk and Rahami, Ramani at the back, and 101 goalkeeper and Oblak. So it's a very solid squad. And I just feel like now, even though you're getting players like this, I feel like the discrepancy between the big, the big boys and the free-to-play guys are a little bit lower. You can still dominate, you can still win games. There's no doubt about it. I mean, you'll see me when I stream on a Thursday and a Friday... We struggle against high rank squads that are really good at the game. But if somebody's got a really good God squad or a meta squad and they don't really know how to play the game, you can pick them apart if, you, if you're good enough. But let me know your thoughts, right? Obviously, it's a big debate. Um, would you like to see better rewards? I mean, I, I definitely think this would be a good introduction to it. Is that like if they were to revamp eFootball League and have better rewards for it, right? That you could stay within your own category. I'm going to do a full video on how I would fix it. But that will give you an idea what's on the screen there at the moment. Just better rewards. It's very simple. Um, but I definitely think, you know, at the moment, the free-to-play cards, yes, they're high-rated. Yes, they've got good stats. But do they compare with the older free-to-play cards? We're not even having the discussion, do they compare with the likes of Rijkaard and Vieira and Turam? And the paid cards or the premium cards in packs. We're talking about, you know, does Mickey van de Ven compare to Costa Corta or Beckenbauer? Does Fernando Torres and Luis Diaz, who while they're still paid cards, you can get them for free if you save up your daily login or your weekly login or you do all the campaigns. Do they compare with the cards that are out there now that were released for free before? Does Ribri compare with Neymar? You know, so let me know your thoughts. I will be back with another video quite soon. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll chat you then. Peace.